What's going on, Nathan? Alright, here's your video tutorial on how to program the ICOM V80 portable. Let's turn it on like so. And if you see there, that's why I already have a couple of my things already in there. But what we're going to do is here, go down to the VFO button. That's another thing, I don't know what that is for. There's your uh, NOAA weather channel thing. And then see here's your input selection. Now say if you want to put in, for example, a NS channel 56, Piedmont Road channel. I'm just going to type it in right here like so. Now, now you, I know it says 16095, uh, but you still punch in 160950. You just don't see the zero on the screen there. Now next, you're going to hit function down here in the uh, left corner. And then hit that little 8 button that says set. Now this will go through your tuning steps and whatnot. Now you see right here, um, you're going to use your up and down keys here um, to go through the menu. Now see right here, this is to set the uh, wideband and narrowband audio deviation. And of course you want to, uh, to rotate that or change through it, just use that. Of course you want to set it to narrowband for the most optimum performance. And now... I'm just going to scroll up to the next priority, priority part. This is for your tuning step. Um, this is the uh, gigahertz part. Now, uh, John Green, he programs his Kenwood radios with 5 gigahertz for the most optimum reception. But, you know, Kenwood radios, they already knock the socks off anything. But this is 12.5 gigahertz right here. Uh, what the railroad currently uh, transmits on. So... But it's your call on that. And next, um, this little button right here, this is where it says TX off. Um, either that or on. But right now, since you're programming the uh, NS Road channel, you want to set that to be off. Where it says OF. After that, that you're pretty much set. Um, hit that little VFO button again. And then now, here comes the. Uh, Part of importing it to the memory. You're just going to hit function down here on the left corner and then hit the VFO and MR button and scroll all the way up until you find channel 56 because um, this is how I do mine. I just program mine by uh, AAR channel. Um, and then, see I've already got it in there but after that you just hit function and then hold down the VFO MR button and you hear it go dee deep. That means it's uh, imported into the uh, channel bank. Well, that's about it. Uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Talk to you later.